Hi, good to see you again. Okay, what am I missing? Take a look. That's what we're gonna discuss today. So take a look. Can you guess? Lipstick, that's what we're gonna talk about today. What happened was I was filming a video for London Times Style and suddenly I had no lipsticks to wear. And I thought, that's crazy. I've got gazillions of lipsticks. You know that I love lipsticks. I always think that there's one lipstick that is going to change my life. It hasn't so far, but in my mind, I know that there's a lipstick just waiting for me. I haven't found it, but I'm still looking. Anyway, there I was thinking, I have no lipsticks to wear for this incredible video. And I thought, what is that all about? So I thought I'd do a little bit of deep diving into my lips and my lipsticks. So I started looking at my lips and you know what? They're nothing. They're very, very wrinkled. They're very, they, they don't have a great shape. I mean, they have a shape, but it's not defined. You want to see beautiful lips? Take a look at Hannah Martin's lips. You know, that was my trouble. I'd see Hannah Martin put on a lipstick and I'd think, oh my God, that is so gorgeous. And I'd go out and buy it. Well, it looks wonderful on Hannah Martin. The same thing with Kate of what Kate finds. She, you know, she'll put on a lipstick a day. Lipstick always looks magnificent on her. They don't have lines. They have the, you know, they have the, the white little ridge. I don't know what it's called, but there's a white ridge at just the top of their lips. What have I got? Nothing. I've had two cancer, at least I think two. I don't, I don't even remember if I've had three, but I've had cancer surgeries on my lips. And I don't know, my lips just look like nothing. Um, I, can, I can puff them up a bit, you know, with lipstick and with um, uh, lip balm. But I've also found, I have quite a collection of dark lipsticks. There was a period in my life where I only wore a MAC combination. I'd put on, um, I'd put on like, um, uh, like some cream concealer, then I'd put on MAC sequin, and then above the sequin, I'd put on MAC iced glacé. I wore that for years, years. And then, I don't know, I broke out of that rut and decided what I needed was some bright lipsticks. So for, for a period I was wearing, and just before COVID, I've got a number of these. They're by Dior and they're 414. They're a gorgeous color and it's called Saint Germain. Um, let me put it on. Now, it looks beautiful, but you know what? It's just too opaque. It's just too much. It isn't that bright of a statement, but it's almost like it's just kind of too opaque and it just feels it feels wrong. Somehow for today, I think there's something about COVID, about the fires here in California, uh, about the marches, the, the, about the election. There's so much stress and anxiety going on that you don't need to be, have your face, you, I don't need to have my lips in your face. That's bottom line. Maybe it would be, be better if I you know, blotted my lips a lot, put on some lip gloss. This is Abithia, Abithia Nights by Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe that looks a little better. You certainly can see my, my lines though. Uh, I don't know, it just looks like a lot of lip gloss on liney old lips. I don't think I like it. Uh, one thing though this does tell you is to experiment a little. You know, take your, take, um, you know, blot your lips, try one color on top of another color, put a little bit of lip gloss on, um, experiment because we're not able to go and buy any lipsticks. You can't go to a store, you can't go and you can't try anything on. So what's a person to do? I don't know, you can, you can send a man to the moon, but you can't find a decent lipstick. Mm. Okay, 
So this was one color that I wore a lot. And then to my son's wedding, I wore this. Now, granted, your son's wedding, this was before COVID. So it really doesn't count, does it? Not really. It's a beautiful color though, for after COVID. Legend um, by uh, Chanel. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of gloss to it, a little bit of um, frost to it. I guess I'm a girl of the 90s. I still, is it the 80s or the 90s? I still like a little bit. But you know what? It feels wrong for now. Somehow being kinder and gentler uh, seems like the right kind of lipstick for now. What do you think? Have you been feeling that way? Do you have, have you gone shopping for lipsticks? Have you bought anything online? How's it gone? Have you gotten that? Does it look just like they say? As I say, if they can take a, if they can send a man to the moon, it seems to me that they can develop some computer program that is more accurate, um, that shows the, the color more accurately. Of course, then it's the way, you know, um, things are balanced, you know, on, um, on your computer screen. Um, one thing I'm not going to talk about because I don't know the answer to is lips, lipstick that, that travels, you know, that bleeds. So my girlfriend, the Contessa on Instagram, was telling me that the lipstick that works on her, what works on her is to put a pen pencil around her lips and then she uses Bobbi Brown's art sticks and she says the, those, the combination of the pencil and the art stick and the art stick, that it doesn't bleed. So that's my tip for you. Um, I'm going to give you another tip, and this is off the subject. Since you're on Instagram and you're watching me on Instagram, there are a lot of hackers out there. So start getting um, second level, what's it called? Second level, two level authentication. And don't give your email or password away to anybody, to any email that anybody sends you. If you want more information about this, I'll talk about it in greater depth. But that's just an aside because the Contessa, her whole um, site was hacked and everything is gone. Um, okay, back to lipstick. So what have I been doing? Not, not a lot. I've been mainly wearing uh, Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk. This, how do I know the difference? This one's bitch perfect. This one's a little lighter and pillow talk. So what I do is first I put on, and I like using this uh, Charlotte Tilbury balm. It kind of, it, it kind of smooths out the wrinkles. It doesn't really, but it, when you put on, when you put on the uh, lip pencil, I don't know, it just kind of works. So I'm gonna put on some lip, here's a liner. I'm not even doing a great job of lining my lips and putting this on. So it's soft. What do you think? You know, it's interesting when you're when you look at, you know, lips, you know, on the computer or on the iPhone, it they look darker than in real life because I'm looking in a mirror and it's really it's pretty light. It's a very soft color and it kind of all, you know, uh, blends in nicely. But I'd be curious, how are you doing with lipsticks? Do you need another lipstick? Do you want another lipstick? I want to go out lipstick shopping and I want to find the right one. Um, tell me what you're wearing. Have you found a color that works for you? You know, I've seen the long lasting lipsticks, but I haven't bought them because I don't know what color to buy. And I'm worried about putting one of those liquid lipsticks on and it just being this flat um, matte, kind of a flat matte look. And I don't think that that's going to look good on me. I, but I think what that's what we all need right now is long our long lasting lipsticks. Um, oh, I forgot another color that has worked well for me. Let me use this. Did I mention that uh, Votary sent me this uh, cleansing oil? 
So I'm going to use that now. Um, so it clean, you know, takes the takes the um, mm, get down, you know, back to my real color. Um, an, a lipstick color that I have enjoyed, and this is either bare pink or naked pink. Isn't that ridiculous that I don't know the name? It's um, I'm not wearing my glasses because this is Naked Pink, and this is Beauty Pie. I should do another video on, on um, Beauty Pie. It's like uh, Costco for skincare and um, makeup, and you pay a monthly fee, and you get incredible prices for um, makeup. So this is, a, this is a really pretty pink. Let me try this on. And what, so what I don't want, I don't want it too bright. I want it to cover enough. I don't want it to cover too much. I want it to be subtle, but yet enough color so that the, so that it brightens up my face. I mean, look at my face now, right? Okay. Don't no lipstick on. Now look what happens when I put lipstick on. See, it just kind of brightens up the face. At the same time, this is moist enough so that, um, you know, you can see my, my, my um, lips move. I think this pink looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it does. It's nice. Maybe I should not be looking for nudes. Maybe I should be looking for pinks, maybe pinky nudes. Not bad. Anyway, I wanted to get on here and talk to you, say hi, show you some of my lipsticks. What are your feelings about makeup these days? What are your feelings about lipstick these days? Do you have the same kind of epiphany that suddenly bright is too bright, um, but you don't want to be dull looking? Um, or have you just not been wearing anything? I'd be curious. Thank you. Thank you for watching. So what am I going to what, what, what am I going to do about getting new lipsticks? Don't you ever have this longing for some new lipstick? I get that way. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.